Good morning, Waitman Wildcats. It's good to see everybody today on Friday, of the first week of the second semester of the school year. All week we have been reviewing each aspect of our ROAR expectations of students, and today we are talking about readiness. Readiness in the classroom is being to class on time. It is having all your materials ready to go when the teacher starts lesson, whether it's your homework, your textbook, a pencil, and having your brain open. Knowing the expectations of, you, of yourself in that classroom with the teacher and in the hallway. And also making sure that you are looking at your My Student so you are ready for learning, training, and assignments, ready for assessments that are coming so that you can be the best you can be. Readiness in the hallway looks like walking with a purpose, knowing where you're going and getting there. That means not taking too much time socializing, but continue to walk and get to your class on time. It also uh, means readiness in the hallway means knowing the rules of the hallway. Sometimes like in sixth grade, we know that when we come back from lunch, the A lunch, that we have to be quiet in the hallway because there's still a class going on in there. So knowing the rules of the hallway. And the last would be taking care of all your personal needs during passing time. If you have to go to the bathroom and you think it may take longer than the four minutes you have, then you should go to your next period teacher's class and ask them, say, hey, I need to go to the restroom. Is it okay if I go now? I might be a little bit late. And if you have their permission, then you won't be tardy. So take care of your personal needs between classes and the hallway. Readiness in the cafeteria means also to sit down as soon as you guys get into the cafeteria. Also, know your lunch number or student number. And lastly, know the expectations for behaviors in the cafeteria. Readiness in other areas means that if we're out in the halls, we have a pass so that everyone knows where you're supposed to be going and what you're doing, that you're walking with a purpose, not running, that we're alert and we're prepared. You guys are the first line for anything that is different or off on campus. If you see something that doesn't look right, you guys have been here long enough to know it and report it to a teacher. So make sure if you see something like that in other areas, you let everyone know. Okay, and it also means that you're paying attention as you're walking all of the, of the other areas. Again, it goes back to alert. And you are knowing and following my favorite, the dress code rules. <laughs> yeah, we do have a dress code here at Waitman Middle School. We follow the dress code guidelines that are given to us by the Pasco County School Board. And so therefore, if you don't know our dress code, which you should by now, they are in the front part of your student binder. So if you're getting dressed in the morning and you're not sure you can wear that, guess what? You have somewhere to go that you can look and read and find out if you're allowed to wear it. One of the biggest things we're seeing on campus is all these wonderful, really cool looking jeans with all these different holes in the jeans. And that is a big no-no. Um, there should not be any holes in the jeans from about the knee height and knee and above. So make sure that um, you're dressing appropriately every morning, which you wear to the mall, to the movies, to hang out with your friends sometimes is not appropriate for school. With that said, if you are caught and you're not out of in your address code, you will be sent to the office where you will have to call your parents and you will have to change. You cannot go back to classes without changing. After you do this a couple of times, it becomes a disciplinary issue and you may get a referral. So stay dressed appropriately. Students, I know that you know all these expectations about being respectful, taking ownership for yourself in our school, having your academics as your number one priority, and being ready for what's coming for you. I know you have know these expectations. I have seen them in you every day, and we want to continue to see them from you from now through the end of the school year. Make sure that we have this semester be our best semester, and I appreciate the staff for supporting all these pieces and reinforcing them in your classroom. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.